Okay, the element europium exists in nature as two isotopes. We have uh, 151 EU has a mass of 150.9196, so I'm going to color this blue. And 153 EU has a mass of 152.9209. Color that orange. Okay, um, the average atomic mass of the both isotopes is 151.96. And they want to know is what is the relative abundance uh, right here, is what I'm looking for. Okay, so the general expression is the average mass is going to equal the percentage of the first isotope, which we don't know, uh, it's times. Uh, 151 EU times the mass of EU plus the mass of the second isotope I'm sorry the percentage of the second isotope oops let's keep it consistent uh, times 153 EU Okay, so in this problem, we know the average mass that's given to us. We know the mass of this isotope, and we know the mass of this isotope. What we don't know is that percentage and that percentage. So uh, in order to calculate the percentages of both, um, well, this is impossible to solve because you have an expression with two unknowns. Uh, but there is a relationship between the two percentages. Both these percentages will equal 100%. When you add them up, it's going to be equal 100% or, if you put it into decimal form, 0.1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this percentage my x. Oops. Let's just call this x. And this percentage over here, I'm going to make it 1 minus x. Now, why I do that is if this is, let's say, 40%, then this has to be 1 minus 40%, which would be 60%. So, because your percentages will equal 100% or equal 1 when you convert them to decimals. So, that's why we put x and 1 minus x. All right, so now we're just going to plug in the numbers. So average mass is 151.96 equals x. And the mass of EU 151 is 150.9196 plus 1 minus x. And the mass of the other one, which is going to be 152.9209. All right, so now it just becomes an algebra problem. Um, we're going to carry this down, 151.96. Uh, I'm just going to make this something that's more recognizable in math, putting the x on the other end. So all I did was just switch my x over there. OK, on this one, I'm going to distribute. So that's going to be 152.9209, because I'm distributing to that one first. Now I'm going to distribute to that one, minus 152.9209x. OK, so now um, I'm going to combine like terms. So 151.96 equals... Now, I'm combining these two guys right here, the, the x's together. And we're actually going to get a negative number, negative 2.0013x, after I add those two numbers together, plus 152.9209. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides. I'm going to carry this number here, so negative this number. 152.9209 minus 152.909. So um, I'm going to get a negative number over here. So I'll plug this in my calculator. 
minus 152.9209 and I get a negative 0 0.9609. I'm going to carry everything over, minus 2.0013x. So I've combined like terms and, and now i got to solve for my x. And the way I solve for my x is I divide both sides by negative 2.0013 to both sides. Those cross out. My x is going to equal, I plug it in, and since we're dealing with percentage uh, decimal points, uh, I get like 0 0.48 as my x. Now, uh, I'm not done with my answer. Um, I did find the answer for EU151 over here. So this is going to be, let me change it to a different color so you can see better. So this is going to be 0 0.48 for EU-151, but they want the relative abundance for both isotopes. So this is answering one of them, EU-151. To get the other one, I'm just going to subtract 1 minus 0 0.48, and now I'm going to get 0 0.52 for the second one. So this question needs two answers, because that's asking for the relative abundances of each. Not the percent abundance, but the relative abundance, so it has to be in decimal form.